Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. In today's tutorial, we are going to cover agency matrix representation. So we are going to represent agency matrix in uh, all the representation we are going to cover in this tutorial, whether it is directed, undirected, weighted, or unweighted. So uh, whether it is directed, uh, undirected, weighted, or unweighted, we are going to cover everything in today's tutorial. So let's get started with this so uh, i can show you two graphs uh, this is an undirected graph it doesn't have a weight and on another side i have also have a graph which is a directed graph which has a weight so we are going to represent both these uh, graphs using a gen c matrix and we are going to see how we can uh, uh, represent them using a gen c matrix and what is the need of a gen c matrix actually uh, when we uh, further proceed with the shortest path algorithms so there are two types of algorithm one is uh, uh, I'll cover the shortest path algorithm so you will get to know where is the need of agency list and where is the need of agency matrix so uh, when we cover shortest path algorithm you will get to know so both the representations are important and let's start with this uh, this representation so first I'll define a print matrix function so this would help us to identify uh, uh, to identify whether what when we implement we'll get to know uh, that our implementation using the print matrix function so r comma c is equal to len matrix uh, the number of rows is given by len matrix and column is given by len matrix of zero okay so this is a very standard notation in matrix problems that uh, row is given by len matrix and columns are given by len of matrix of 0 now I'll iterate for phi for i in range r then for j in range c I'll print matrix of i j n is equal to space and when we move to another line for every row we will print a new line so th this is how we print our matrix now i've also defined the test cases like i've also defined the test cases these are the test cases for undirected graph which is this one and these are the cases for directed graph with the weight see that i have a weight also for this one okay so then let's implement this so uh, v comma e is equal to map v comma e is equal to map int comma input dot split now when i have got the vertices and edges then i have to generate a matrix of v square so zero star v for i in range v this would generate a matrix of v square okay so this would generate a matrix of v square now uh, what i can do uh, since i have a matrix here now i have to utilize this matrix okay for i in range e uh, i'll get u comma v is equal to map uh, this is a string so a string input dot split so I have u comma v now simply what I have to uh, perform is matrix of u comma okay first now since I'll get the input as a or b now you need to observe one thing I'll show you one thing that ASCII value of a is 65 but the matrix indices matrix indices are in going to be in 0 1 2 3 so these were going to be indices of matrix so what we can do we can subtract the ascii value of a for every letter so this would give us 0 okay what i mean to say i quickly show you uh, what i mean to say like if if a is equal to 65 and we subtract the ASCII value of A from it then we get 0 okay like in the same way uh, B B 
here v is equal to 66 and we subtract the ASCII value of a then we get, get the index as 1 similarly for c we get 2 and d we get 3 so this is we can generate the indices for matrix because matrix has indices so that uh, characters have to need to be converted into indexes so we can now proceed with this now let's uh, uh, let's uh, move with, move with the part uh, now we can do matrix now first u is equal to o r uh, now this is what i was trying to say because we need to generate indices so we would subtract the values from the ascii value of capital a to get the indices now this would give us the indices now now simply we can do matrix of u comma v is equal to true so this is how we generate the matrix then we would call the print matrix function and would pass the parameter as matrix so this would be our uh, this case of undirected graph so let's copy these test cases and run the test cases i'll have a split window yes uh, uh, since the indentation is not proper uh, okay let me do one thing i'll ch change this end statement okay let me do one thing uh, either i use slash t yeah now this looks pretty fine now here you can see i'll compare this graph with this uh or we can do one thing i'll put this end is equal to uh instead of true i would put a one here so i think this would be much better so i'll cross this window and run this program again yes now here you can see in the graph yes that in the graph here you can see this is our graph and here you can see that a is connected to you can uh, here you can see that a, a is represented like this here you can see this is a comma a then a comma b yes uh, uh, but i did a mistake here uh, sorry for the mistake the matrix of v comma u should also be have been one here because we are, we are using a undirected graph so i hope i quickly give an overview u comma v has been cal calculated and this is matrix of u comma v is equal to one and matrix of v comma u is equal to one now i'll run this program yes uh, now here you can see yes so i'll quickly uh, overview with this uh, a comma b this is a comma a a comma b is there as well as b comma a is also there so a comma c is there then c comma a is also there this is a comma a a comma b a comma c a comma d a comma e a comma f is there then f comma a is also there so this is how we represent the agency matrix of undirected graph okay now in the same way we can do uh, this is how we uh, do it for uh, this is how we do it for uh, undirected graph I'll comment this out now I'll do it for weighted graph so this would be same for the weighted graph so the, here the function would change for i in range e u comma v comma w is equal to map str input dot split now uh, u would be same as o, uh, we would get the index by subtracting the ASCII value of capital A and we would be we would get the 
by subtracting the ASCII value of capital A. So this would return us the indices. Now W should be int W because this would be it should be converted to integer. Uh, this was undirected, so we did this for both the ways u comma v and v comma u. But now this would be directed, so we do it for only one process, one part. That matrix of u comma v is equal to weight. Here now the instead of one, uh, that this here one was a boolean value, which represented true or false. In case of edge, but now here it will represent weight this would be the weight this would be the weight or cost okay cost of h cost in case of h now what we do uh, i hope this is pretty much fine let us copy this uh, test cases for weighted graph and this is our uh, this is our weighted graph so we can uh, like now run this program then we we call our print matrix function in the end yes now here you can see like uh, I'll show you the graph this is a comma a then a comma b is 4 you can see a comma b is 4 here uh, uh, then b comma d is 10 so you can see b comma a is 0 b comma b is 0 b comma c is 5 but b comma d is 10 so here we represent the weight okay so here we represent the weight uh, like uh, this is weight or cost in case of h so this is we uh, implement either the weighted or unweighted directed undirected uh, graph using the matrix it's a very simple implementation we will look uh, further why we need both these implementations. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.